NASA is reporting what may be a catastrophic leak that may put the facility and the lives of everyone on board at risk. Leaks have been reported in the Russian module and have been known since 2019, and Russia is still looking for the cause. If you're not familiar, the space station is modular and has existed for nearly 25 years. Due to outdated equipment and damage to the facility, it is planned to be deorbited in 2030. However, not all countries that operate it agree. The ISS is primarily operated by three countries, the United States, Japan, and Russia, while there are several other European countries and Canada that take a small part in it and utilize it. The Russian component makes up roughly one-third of the facility. It's connected by airlocks and a series of structural mechanisms that keep the modular facility together. You can see the Russian component here in red, the United States segment in blue, and then the Japanese segment in yellow as well as other European parts, but nobody really cares about that. Astronauts aboard rely on all components for backup safety mechanisms, as well as for space and emergency modules in which they can leave. And we saw with the stranded astronauts just how difficult it is to get somebody out of space. Worse, a catastrophic leak could mean that the entire facility would end up going spinning into oblivion in the case of rapid decompression. Russia does not want to decommission and deorbit the ISS. This is in part because it is extraordinarily expensive to build the facility. They don't want all of that work to go to waste. They may not have the finances to rebuild it and will then lose power that they might have had in 2000 when the ISS was built. It is still the largest facility that has ever been built in space and is roughly the size of a football field. The facility is breaking down, in part because of age and in part because of the radiation that exists in space that puts extra wear on the equipment. Small asteroid hits do accumulate over time, and this is an issue that is expected to get worse as we increase the amount of space debris and garbage in our orbit. Hopefully Russia will find and repair the leak, and this doesn't end up becoming a catastrophic issue with billions of dollars in the lives of astronauts lost. As you can imagine, this is a very tense situation for those aboard, and the facility has been continuously occupied for nearly 25 years. It cannot run alone. Lastly, because so many people have asked about the astronaut who came home sick after spending eight months in space and was hospitalized, and the fact that other astronauts refused to say which one of them it was. First off, yes, it could be an antibiotic-resistant bacteria. We are aware that this is an issue on space stations. If it were something terrible, believe me, the government would not have let you know. The reason that they are likely not telling you which astronaut became sick is because it is embarrassing. You are well aware of how vicious the public can be. When you've spent months up there relying on each other for your lives, you end up becoming very close. It's not surprising that they would want to keep this information private. The fact that people are speculating in this way shows exactly why they did this.